Hi, it's Rachel from Offroad CC, and today I'm going to run through with you the seven best bikes that you can buy for under £1,500. These bikes have all been reviewed by us, and when we've tested them, they've all got four or more stars out of five, so you can rest assured that we've ridden them, we've reviewed them, we've rated them, and we really like them. There's lots of different bikes here. I've got hardtails and full suspension bikes, 650B bikes and 29Rs, and there's trail bikes and cross-country ones too. The only thing that they do have in common is that they all cost under £1,500 and you can buy them for that price in the UK. So without further ado, let's dig in. The first bike is the Vitus Mythique 29 VRS, 140mm full travel trail bike. The Vitus Mythique gets 29 wheels and a solid list of components, which make the 1449 price tag an absolute bargain. There's a 1x12 speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain, which is heavy but will make winching up steep climbs a doddle. There's an X-Fusion fork and shock, and both get lockout, and there's a dropper post too. The bike proved to be great fun to ride. It's an excellent climber, and it's not that heavy at all at 32.4 pounds. The best thing about the Vitus is that it's easily upgraded one time, making this a bike that is both an awesome and sensible buy. Next up, and remember I'm listing these in no particular order, is the Calibre Bosnut 3. This bike scored a mighty five out of five stars on test, and at 1,100 pounds, it's the cheapest full suspension bike in the list. Released back in August 2019, it got a huge geometry update over the 2018 bike, making it longer, slacker, and more capable. The Bosnut is a 130 mm trail bike with 27 and a half inch wheels. There's a RockShox Recon RL fork and a Monarch R shock, Plus, it uses SX Eagle drivetrain, just like the Vios Mythique. This bike doesn't get a drop post though, and the fork isn't boost, but then it is £350 cheaper than the Vios. If you want those upgrades, Calibre also make the Triple B, which has these things, but this boss nut is easily upgradable, and there's internal routing in it ready for when you want to fit a drop post. All in, the boss nut is confident it's expiring and ready for some single track razzing for just over a grand. Third in our list is the Vitus Sentia 27 VRS, an entertaining hardtail that is ready for ride straight from the box. Priced at 1400 quid, it's not the cheapest bike here, but it still offers bang for your buck. The alloy hardtail gets a 140mm RockShox Revelation RC fork and a SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain. In terms of model hierarchy, NX 12 speed is one step higher in the range than SX Eagle and will come in a tad lighter. The Sentier has some hardcore trail intentions. It's fitted with four piston brakes and aggressive tyres. There's a Strollby Magic Mary up front and a hands damp at the rear. Tyre choices that UK riders riding in a slop are really going to benefit from. There's a nuke proof finishing kit and a dropper post too, and the whole lot weighs in at just over £27. The Sentier is a great looking bike. The paint job makes it look more expensive than it is, and the geometry gives this bike a nimble feel. If you prefer a hardtail for trail riding and are looking for a decent one, then the Sentier 27 VRS is well worth a look. The Zonda Transmitter NX1 Revelation is the next hardtail in our lineup. At 1300 quid, it's a little cheaper than the Sentier, and although this bike doesn't score as well in terms of value, it does have more progressive geometry, making it a bike that we thought was great for more gravity-fed riding. The bike gets a slightly longer reach and a slacker head angle than Sentier, which is geometry which allows it to be the jack of all trails, from smooth flow to rough steep. In terms of spec, there's a 150mm RockShox regulation fork, a SRAM NX drivetrain, which is 11 speed, two piston SRAM level T brakes, a decent WTB Vigilante front tyre, and our bike came spec with an X-Fusion Manic 150mm dropper post which is a 100 quid upgrade, but we reckon it's well worth the extra spend. That does take the total price to this bike for just under 1400 quid. At home on steeper train, the transmitter is a good climber too, making it a great choice if you like to winch up to the trailhead time and time again. Up next is a specialized Chisel Comp X1, a cross country bike that our John had said had a solid spec and gave a great ride quality. The bike is a cross-country racing machine, 
and where it might struggle to match its direct sales competitors on value, it made up for in great ride quality. And John reckoned it was a good bike for anyone that wants to cover ground quickly. The 1400 quid 29er has a mix of Shimano and Sunrace kit with an SLX mech, 11 speed Sunrace cassette and Shimano MT501 brakes. Up front, there is a RockShox Judy Gold Fork, which gets an air spring and 100mm of travel. The geometry is XC bike through and through, with a fairly steep head angle and a short reach of 441mm on a size large. If you're after a rapid cross-country bike but don't want to blow your budget before you even get to the start line, the Chisel Comp X1 delivers an outstanding, rapid, surprisingly comfortable and well-mannered ride that's sharp enough to please the keenest of race heads Plus, you can buy it from a shop and garner the knowledge and support that they will offer the customer. The Canyon Grand Canyon ALSL 7.0 is another cross-country hardtail on the list. We reviewed this bike back in 2018, and since then, the bike has had a slight update in terms of spec, and there's been some minor changes in geometry too. It's now got a 120mm RockShox Duty fork, a one by SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain and Shimano MT400 brakes, and it all costs just under 1100 quid. For that price, it'd be a hard bike not to include in this list. We really like the bike we tested. It has cross country racer vibes with winning intentions, and it'll be easier on the wallet than its competitors. As ever with Canyon, the spec list and the price are the things that will make this bike stand out from the crowd. Last up, but by no means least, is the Rose Count Solo 3. It's another light and fast hardtail, best for those that are just getting into mountain biking. And at just 40 pounds over a grand, it doesn't cost a fortune either. The geometry isn't the most progressive. It gets a rather steep head angle, making this bike good for cross country inspired rides. The main componentry is great, there's a 100mm RockShox Reba fork with a handlebar lockout, there's MT500 brakes and a 2x11 SLX drivetrain with an upgraded XT rear mech. Dave, who is our tester, reckons you'll probably want to upgrade parts of the cockpit. So for example, he found the 90mm stem too long and improved the handling in corners by fitting a shorter stem. The bike is super light and with its 29er wheels and fast rolling tires, makes for a really fast, agile bike. And that concludes our seven bikes that we reckon are the best on test for under 1500 quid. As I said at the start, these bikes are all really different. So you'll have to pick the best one for you based on the sort of trails you normally ride and your style of riding. If you want to read the full reviews of these bikes, they're all on www.off.road.cc. You'll see a search bar at the top, so just pop the name of the bike in there and the review will appear. There's also some of the reviews on YouTube, so if you head over to our channel, you'll find the Vitus Mythique, the Calibre Bosna, and also that Vitus Sentier. Whilst you're there, I'll ask you to hit subscribe so you can find our channel more easily. And also, we want to know if you ride any of these bikes. So leave a comment in the comments section below telling us which bike you have and what you think of it. We'd be super interested to know which parts you've upgraded to, so let us know. Keep an eye on our channel for more videos like this. The next one I've got planned is the best mountain bikes for under a thousand pounds. In the meantime though, thanks very much for watching.